About four months ago, I made a video where I was showing off what I consider to be the best camp location in Fallout 76. And my camp in that video had a fireplace, which, judging by all of these comments, I did not explain how to build very well. Let's take a look. And it was actually pretty easy, so all I did was snap in a brick, or a half brick wall down here, and then snapped this wall on top of it, and then just removed the one below, and then BOOM! You got a fireplace! No. Pass cord. No boom. No, no, that's not how you did it. At the time of the video, I thought that was how I built it. But after trying to recreate it, I could not have been more wrong. So for everyone who was commenting on how frustrating it was trying to build it, I felt really bad for not explaining this properly. So I'm going to take some time and walk you through it. So I couldn't build at the same spots because someone was already there and I didn't want to server hop, which kind of serves me right for making a video on my favorite place to build a camp and then share it with the world. But either way, you start by snapping a foundation to the side of wherever you want your fireplace to go. I like to use a concrete foundation and brick walls because that makes more sense to me, you know, as opposed to using wood walls and a wood foundation for a fireplace. But if that's what you want to do, then you know, you do you, no judgment. Okay, a little bit of judgment. You want to make sure that you have doorways on each side of the foundation, not walls, okay? We'll, we'll switch them to walls later and I'll explain why in just a second, but make sure you are using doorways. What I'm trying to do is close off part of this foundation. So I want this brick wall right here in the middle of the foundation because otherwise it's way too big for a fireplace. Like look at all this space. Oh, now I'm dizzy. Now there's a couple of ways that we can do this. We can do it the manual way and try to line it up you know, as best we can. It helps using the transparent layer to kind of judge where you are. But we could try doing this and then put in a wall. And the only problem with this is that it, you have to get it perfect. Otherwise, the white is going to stick through. You'll see whenever I change these doorways to normal walls. Okay, it's fine on this side, but I'm pretty sure the other side is not is going to be sticking through unless I'm this good. Let's see. No, it's definitely sticking through. Okay, so you, that's what I mean. It's going to be sticking through the wall. You're going to have this white line. It's going to look stupid. So you got to change this back to doorways. And the reason we're using doorways is because the game lets us snap in a wall there. If these were two walls instead of doorways, it wouldn't work. The game is way more lenient with doorways than there are walls. And I'll show you more examples of that in a second. But this is one way to get the wall in there. You just have to line up this foundation perfectly, and it can be kind of tough. So here's a more precise way to do it. You want to get out these stairs and snap it to the fireplace foundation and then put a half floor piece on top of that. More snapping to that rather. And then get out a doorway. Make sure it's a doorway. I'm going to keep saying that this entire time, but use a doorway on the end right here. And now you can remove the floor and the stairs. See if it's a doorway, the game will let it float like this. So switch this to a wall and then snap in another wall. It doesn't matter what kind, just any kind of wall. Snap the foundation to that lower wall. And now we can find the wall that we want to have back there, which is a brick wall. If I can find it, there we go. Snap that in and now it's in the perfect spot. We're not going to have any white lines on the end of it. And all we have to do, is we can switch this back to a doorway. And now we can remove this wall, delete the doorway and push this foundation back to where it was but we gotta change this wall to a doorway first otherwise i can't move the foundation so move that back and then just switch all these back to walls instead of doorways and there we go now the wall is in the perfect position and it's not clipping through either side now what we need to do is put in one of these half brick walls right here and we kind of have to undo what we just did because this brick wall is going to get in the way we don't have to redo everything. We just need to change these walls back to doorways. That way I can move this foundation back to over here. There we go. So it's really just that last step that we had to redo. And I did that because we need to remove this wall, but the foundation keeps our spot and we can put the wall back in in just a second. Now let's get our stairs out again and snap it to the foundation right in front of the fireplace and then put in a full upper floor piece up here. And this is why we needed to remove the wall because it would have blocked this floor piece from snapping in. And now we're gonna follow the same steps that we just did. So we put in the doorway, remove the upper floor, remove the stairs, and then we're gonna change this doorway to a wall and then put in another wall just below it and see how this one is not going to snap because the foundation is below it and it's going to stop it. So we can just put in a half wall since we don't want to scrap the foundation and it will work just the same. So now we put in our roof, get our brick wall out and 
and snap that in. And there we go. So now all we got to do is come over here and we can remove this roof first, change this wall back to a doorway, delete the wall underneath it, and then delete this one up top. And there we go. Now all we have to do is repeat the steps that we did earlier and this part is done. And there we go. Boom, you got a fireplace. It's a lot different from what past courts said, but in my defense, this is how you do it with if you're only doing one floor. If you have a second floor, it's much easier to do. So this is how I did it in my last video. I had a second floor and I could easily just put in a half floor piece right here, another one right here, and then you put a wall in, it snaps to the middle because it's a half floor. I snap in this wall, thinking about it, there we go, okay. And now, these walls are snapping to what's going on above it, either the floor or the wall. And that's why I thought it was so easy, because I'm like, yeah, you just snap in the walls and there you go. But if you're not planning on having a second level with upper floors and stairs, then yeah, it's much more complicated. Since I haven't done a build in 76 in a while, I figured I'd give you guys a tour of the place. I just, I missed having a camp, so I kind of just rebuilt the camp a little differently than what I normally do. Now, I didn't have enough resources for this, but I wanted to build a tower right there. It's very similar to the last house that I did, but I didn't have enough resources, so I just slapped the roof on it. I tried making the outside look a little different from what I normally do, because this is not anything special, it's just another player home. And I always build player homes. I just like building player homes, man. It's like HGTV for Fallout, you know? It's like, here's all these different types of houses that you can build yourself in the wasteland. I do need to start building some different stuff. Like you guys ask me for like a military base all the time and I have no idea what a military base will look like, but I could do some research, you know, I, I built a prison and an island, you know, well the island also had a player home on it so that doesn't really count, but either way, I'm getting a little sidetracked. This is my house and upstairs it's just for storage and I don't really have a lot of storage. Really, I just wanted to put the stairs in so I could have upper floors so I can make this skylight thing here. It's not really a skylight, but this, this vaulted ceiling area and I think it looks so cool except for that gap right there. Oh, do you see it? Hang on, I gotta fix it. It's gonna drive me nuts. Much better. Whew, okay, crisis averted. All right, so back here, I'm gonna put in a water purifier off to the side whenever I get the resources to do that. And really, this kind of leads over to the workshop area. I was going to have a garage, but I always do a garage. So I just kind of used this tent and just had everything outside. And I think it looks pretty cool, you know? It's, it's a nice change of pace from what I normally do. I'm not crazy about the tent. I wish it was a little more weathered, you know? But I think it looks all right. I'm going to change the foundation under the house to concrete foundation because I didn't have enough resources for it. And it just looks ridiculous with the brick on top of the wood grating there. Doesn't make a lot of sense, so I'm gonna change that later. And over here is a tent that I threw up for just travelers, people stopping by, you know? I threw a bed in there, and then they have a place to cook some food. Just for, you know, I like to build stuff for people stopping by, for other players, so they, they can use that, and then they can use all the resources that I have over here as well. And my favorite spot is this over here. I mean, of course, right? Because it has this nice view. I got the guitar set up by the fire. It's just so chill, and I love it. This camp location is just east of Site Bravo, and it's easily my new favorite place to build, which I'm sharing with the world again. Well, shit. <laughs>